Thank you very much, uh, Father Amy, Lisa, uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, it is, uh, it's an honor to participate uh, in this dedication of this uh, wonderful new law school. I'm honored uh, for several reasons. Uh, as, a, as a former student here at Santa Clara undergrad in law school, uh, it's Italy, this guy, John Sobrato, who was a classmate of mine. Uh, Ed Pinelli was around when I was here. Uh, Paul Locatelli, uh, it was the Italian club. Uh, brought us all together. Uh, and I was uh, what might be called uh, the Bergen Hall generation. By the way, this is no Bergen Hall. <laughs> may have remembered Bergen Hall. I thank uh, Ed for helping to keep Bergen Hall around uh, so that we have it in our memory. I'm also uh, honored because of uh, Howard Charney and his wife and her generosity and vision in establishing uh, Charney Hall. This is a, it's a wonderful commitment to the future by investing in education. And uh, I thank all of the contributors to this. But most of all, I'm honored because when students come into this hall, they're going to enter through the Panetta Plaza. <laughs> and they're going to go into the Pinelli courtroom. So no matter where you're from, you will be inspired by Italians. <laughs> Charney Hall marks not just a new law school in Santa Clara, but in many ways it marks a new era for the future. A new and very challenging era for the students that go here. The Bergen Hall generation, we had our challenges as well. Many went to war. We had to deal with economic crisis in this country. But my, my sense is that the generations that come out of Charney Hall are going to face issues that go to the very core of this nation. Respect for the law. The Bergen Hall generations there was no question about respect for the law. We understood that as lawyers, we would enter a process, go into courtrooms, we would deal with the law, but there was no question about respect for that law. The Charney generation is going to have to deal at the time when the law is being questioned. When not only our courts are being criticized, the laws themselves are being questioned, and law enforcement is being questioned as well. And a lot of that damages and undermines the respect for the law. So, the Charney Hall generation is going to have the challenge of reestablishing that respect for the law. The American dream, when we graduated from Bergen Hall, the American dream was real, very real. The American dream was something that we knew all of us would have the opportunity to be able to embrace. The Charney Hall generation comes into a world in which there are questions about whether or not the American dream is real and whether it will be there for our future. Polls that we've taken at our institute show that almost 70% of young people question whether or not they're going to be able 
to embrace the American dream. So the challenge for the Charney Hall generation will be to make sure that the American dream stays real for our children. Our democracy, the Bergen Hall generation believed in our democracy and respected our leadership. And frankly, I believed that in dealing with government, that it was a higher calling to go into government service. And that all of us felt that it was important to respect our institutions and respect our democracy. The Charney Hall generation is dealing with a lot of questions about whether our democracy will survive. Questions about dysfunction in Congress, questions about the courts, questions about the press, questions about the very institutions that are critical to whether or not our democracy survives. Challenge for the Charney Hall generation will be to make sure that the institutions of our democracy stay strong for the future. And finally, values. The Bergen Hall generation, and a lot of Jesuits around here, believed in values. Values of respect for one another. Values of faith. Values of caring. Values of working together. E pluribus uno. Regardless of our diversity, our divisions, we work together. Charney Hall generation is dealing with a time in which there are great divisions in our society, in which there are increased fears, appeals to our prejudice, all trying to undermine our values. And so the Charney Hall generation must work to restore those values. You're in the middle of Silicon Valley. This is an area of tremendous innovation, tremendous creativity. But that kind of innovation and creativity has to be tied to a set of values. And this law school, being in the center of Silicon Valley, has to provide that foundation for the future of high technology. So we dedicate Charney Hall today. We all join in this wonderful event with a great deal of pride in this beautiful building that has been built. The greatest pride we will have is in the students who take on the challenges that I talked about. You're facing some very difficult challenges, perhaps more difficult than what my generation had to confront. But if, as attorneys and leaders, you can help restore respect for the law, restore that American dream, strengthen our democracy, and most of all, protect our values, then that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the greatest legacy of Charney Hall. God bless Charney Hall. God bless the students. But most of all, God bless the United States of America.